it real fast. Okay. This is the dirt. I'm Dan Watson. We I'm Paul Swaggett. Let's go. We ain't got time to do anything else. <laughs> Admit him back in here. Today's guest, for your pleasure, and we, it's a short one today. We have less than an hour to do this. Please welcome to the room, LA's representatives. <laughs> We're called, Matt. Now, excuse me for any fuck ups here on pronunciation. Uh, I could pronounce it as we read it, which would be in English, meal, but I'm saying male. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Antoine. And if, if, if you guys don't know, who we're, we're, these these two are? We'll start with these two because there's there's more, isn't there? <laughs> there's more. Um, Mel, you want to see the others? Let's do let's do the round table Allez. first. Introduce yourselves. I am Ivan. <laughs> I am Alex Nutrix. Hello, I'm Florian. Hi. Margot. <laughs> well, Look at that. that's fucking brilliant. That is, All the French mountain boar faces are here. We are yeah. super privileged <laughs> for this. Super privileged. I didn't. Especially this old guy. You probably have, have met him. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the old guys, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're in good company here. Yeah. <laughs> um, Look, listen, thank you guys so much for coming on. Thank you guys for, for representing uh, uh, on behalf of LA Mountain Board Centre or Loire Atlantique. Um, Loire Atlantique, yes. Uh, yeah, what a special place it is. I haven't personally been there. I know Slogs hasn't been there no, either. Not yet. But, uh, but you will. Oh, yes. It's oh, on yes. the fucking list. It really and, is. And we will get into this shortly. We will get into this shortly. Um, listen, guys, I think uh, given the time constraints that we have today, um, that I think it might be better if we do try to focus um, on uh, the, the park a little bit as opposed to each individual uh, rider around the room. But I would like to to add this to all of you there, both on screen and off, that we would like to have you on the dirt if, if you feel up to it with, with the English language and you're comfortable with coming on. We would yep. certainly like to hear from, from you all in the future. Um, Great. You know, it's not just exclusive to, to the UK or anything like that. We, we, we want to be represent in the world. So we would like to have you all on. Um, so back to, back to the matter at hand. Um, we'll try and keep it keep it flowing. Um, give us a little bit about uh, yourselves and your role within LA. How has how has it come to be? How did LA form? Um, and and bring us a bit of a, an origin story up to to current day with with LA. If you feel comfortable with that, yeah, okay. So. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, LA first is a, an association uh, of mountain boarding uh, born in 2009 and based in close to Nantes on the west side of France and we did a bit of little events at that time, when we created the association, we were about five to ten riders. And then, um, after two, three, three years, uh, I was the only one still riding, but not in Nantes. And uh, for my job, I, I came back to to my hometown, which is Nantes, uh, around 2000 and 12 or 13 and I was looking for just a, a bit of landscape to to put a, a dirt a, a dirt jump and have fun uh, with friends and um, I found this big place which was amazing which is still amazing uh, even more <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I felt I can't do that 
uh, and built that with myself, just for myself. And I have to share this place. So um, few few guys from Brittany, uh, they were just uh, arrived arrived in Nantes for one or two years and doing a bit of mountain board. And I called all the, the guys from LA back in the days saying, I just bought a landscape, a place for mountain board park. Are you in? And then at first they say, I don't know, I'm not into mountain boarding much now. I, I said, okay, okay, just come visit the place and we'll see. And you tell me. And I, I brought all of them there. And the first second they enter in the place, they say, okay, <laughs> let's oh, do it. <laughs> <laughs> so we set up back the, the association, the association. Uh, and we start building that place and give a uh, mountain board class for the kids and we organize the French championship. So we, we opened the park uh, three years ago, I guess, 2018. And we are here now. That's it. We have a nice freestyle place and uh, a cool board across. Short, but, but cool. Uh, I've I got to say, it looks absolutely divine. I, you know, me, me and Slogs, we, we touch on this quite regularly. We are, have been heavily involved with mountain board centres in Excellent. the UK, um, you know, both having worked for, for Ride the Hill for a number of years. Um, and I, I don't know what it is. Maybe we, maybe we look to, to centres a little bit differently than other mountain board riders. I mean, I personally regard myself as a free rider. That's where I'm happiest. Okay. Um, but that said, I get so much joy from from seeing work, you know, operating centres and and you guys out there seem to be absolutely killing it with getting you, young people coming along. You, you seem to be working well with your local community outside of the mountain board community, mm -hmm. but around that. And it's admirable. It really is. It's something that we used to do at, at our centres years ago. We would have school groups come through, um, scouts and uh, and things like that. You know, like after school groups and uh, care underprivileged groups would come through underprivileged children and stuff like that. And and it was just joyous to see these these young people who have, you know didn't know mountain board and existed and would come there and become absorbed in in it for a day yep. or they in an ideal world they would return and come back uh, you know in their own spare time and it just seems that you guys are really nailing that at the moment it looks like yeah the fire's still burning bright over there yeah Thank Definitely. you. I, I, I think France, as a general, as a generalisation here, um, I think probably at the moment France has probably got the the, the strongest nation or, or scene, community, nationwide community. community still. Yeah, at the moment, definitely. You know, the UK and the US in the past had big followings, but but the France, you've still, you guys have got LA, obviously. Compiègne is is yes. still going. HXC, what yes. is, is a, Bordeaux? Bordeaux in the wine yard. Oh, lovely! A good reason to go there then. For sure. <laughs> it took me three hours for more park, and um, just lost in the wine yard close to Bordeaux, oh. and you can mountain board and and test wine as well. So it's a good what, combination. What month of the year is Beaujolais good. season? Sorry. What? When is Beaujolais season? It's got to be. Uh, Beaujolais is the opposite side uh, of France from Bordeaux, but the season is. Uh, C'est quand le Beaujolais? November. Have it after. So We're missing passed. it then. Yeah, passed. Never mind. But it's not. It's not the best wine. Huh? You will so, find better wine in Bordeaux. Okay. <laughs> so where your where LA is at the moment? Was it Nantes? So, 
What's no, the no, weather? No, with, uh, with Antoine, we are in um, snowboard, mountain board, snowboard trip. So we are in Lyon now. Right. Uh, that's uh, why Val we are with all those guys. Sorry? Where, where are you, Valmorel? Did I see that? We, we, was... were, we were at, Val, at Valmorel uh, Monday and Tuesday. Excellent. And bro, we did like deep, deep powder there. Two days of just even. <laughs> yeah. I think Valmorel is quite a good park there. No, I, I'm sure I went there years. Quite a small resort, but it was there. I th I'm sure I remember there being some quite a, quite a decent um, Maybe Val Torrance. Valtorens, no, 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 no. Valmorel, Valmorel, they don't have a, a big uh, snow no. park. Hmm. But yeah. we, no, we didn't look at the snow park at all because we had 60, 70 centimeters of fresh pool. So uh, <laughs> that's fake. The you dream. don't look at, at the park uh, when it's like that. <laughs> uh, don't, don't. I, have, I haven't been on snow now for a number of years and it is really starting to get to me. <laughs> Um, so anyway, back, back on to, uh, it's so easy to get off topic. My apologies. <laughs> and talk about wine and food. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so you guys, um, like I say, are, are massive in your local community. Uh, and I assume that, do you guys run a, a, a weekend school for like for local children to, to learn a mountain board? How is it that you have this group of, of such young riders coming through there? Well, for, for two years now, we have a club. So there are 12 yeah. kids. They come every week on the Wednesday afternoon and they have like two hours mountain board lesson yeah. every week. Uh, so that's the kids of the club. Uh, and then beside this, every holidays, we organize small uh, camp or um, discovering session uh, for kids all around. So most of them, they are just kids never, never tried mount mountain board before uh -huh. and not skaters or snowboarders, just uh, yeah. lambda kids. Yeah. And so that's for holidays. And we have also, during the summer holidays, we hire someone uh, who gives lesson every day for July and half of August. Mm -hmm. So last year, uh, for example, last summer, we, we give lesson for around two hours. So it's one, one and a half hours uh, to 400, 400 people. Maybe. Cracking! Oh, those are absolute, absolute carnage. That sounds. <laughs> um, so we get money from that, and then that's how we we can afford a, a nice DD hairbag, for for example. <laughs> yeah. Hey, congratulations on that. That was that was going to be one of the questions. And you, you've now got the kicker in place. A new kicker. Who who was it who went through the kicker? <laughs> you won't, you won't see. <laughs> <laughs> oh well i'm sorry that you had to go through that to get a new kicker put in but at least now but at right. least we all got to see it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was the first time we we pump it up and we were like okay we just pump it up to see how what what space it takes and we don't we don't try it. And then we we just pump it up and we were like, okay, You've we gotta try it. Channel. Yeah, we got to try it. <laughs> so we took this this dirty kicker that was in back in the park somewhere and, and the wood was just shitty. So <laughs> we, we we gave we, we did like two or three jumps at, at the fourth one. I just went through. <laughs> Well, thankfully, that's probably the only time that will ever happen to you, right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the, the first time that, that was like a long time ago, uh, <laughs> my first kicker. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully it'll only happen twice. 
No. Um, <laughs> ma- <laughs> How many times, male, have you ridden through a kicker in your life? Sorry. How many? Hear. How many times have you ridden through a kicker in your life? Two, two, two. Two times. Oh, that's okay. Only two. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, only two. Only two. <laughs> this is not my speciality. <laughs> well, I tell you what, you're doing something right up there. You're doing something right. That's for sure. <laughs> and uh, Antoine, is 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 LA your local centre? No, 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 no. 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 He's the French freestyle and ball cross champion. Congratulations, et félicitations. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I come from uh, Arzano, uh, which is based in uh, Brittany, and it's it's like a two hours drive uh, from Arzano to LA, so we are very close, and uh, we see each other like every month to ride together and uh, and other things. Um, we had uh, we have an association, a mountain ball association in Brittany. Uh, for now, 11 or 12 years, something right. like that. Uh, at the beginning, we were like a bunch of riders, so maybe five or six riders. Uh-huh. Um, few years later, we were like almost 30. So that was one of the biggest mountain ball sessions in France. And uh, uh, with the... Every year we had the winter break because the weather was too shitty and too bad for mountain boarding. And uh, two years ago with the COVID crisis uh, and after the winter break, uh, we didn't succeed. Su- uh, we didn't uh, get the riders back and uh, the park was going down because of the winter weather and uh, yeah. It, yeah. It, it is hard. I mean, it's, it's the opposite problem that snow that yeah. the snow sports have, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, it, it it's, I always found it such a shame that we as mountain boarders were quite so small in numbers that we flew under the radar of the mountain yeah. resorts. Um, you know, apart from the people when I was living in Courchevel, Apart from the people who would come to stay w- with me in pleasure holidays, they, and that was people from the UK generally, coming on a holiday yeah. to ride the mountains. The only French person that ever came to ride the mountains uh, the, in, in Courchevel was uh, Alexis Rouge. Yeah. Uh, d- does he still ride? Yeah. I'm not. Alexis Rouge. Alexis. Yeah. Um... The last time I saw him riding, I don't know when it was. When you started? Maybe uh, Alex, you you rode with uh, Alexi. When was the last time? So Monistrol, Tw- Monistrol, which 20, is, uh, 2013. Yeah, a long time ago then. Yeah, a long time ago. A long time. Um, and yeah, he but- came. He came to the World Championship in Compiègne, but I I don't think he rode. So. Yeah. I mean, we traditionally had uh, had an event in Morzine. Um, uh, once a year, oh, we would where be where in Morzine, Morzine of Orient. Uh, Morzine, Morzine, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, long time ago. Yeah, uh, so that would have been in the mid two thousands, and but that was quite a, a prestigious event back then. You know, lots of people from yeah. the UK would travel um, for that. But you that were was there. That, yes. Oh. Oh, okay, great. Oh, oh, uh, chance to show it off. Uh. <laughs> 2004. Whoa. 2004. 2004. There. Uh, I think it was. Uh, that was for a second place. There. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Dan. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, we did you you remember the days back in Morzine? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a good time. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, uh, other people from back then would have that I would have known would have been obviously Diego. I, I assume in, Diego he still yeah. rides. <laughs> um, Nico, uh, Nico Maldonado. Maldonado? Yeah. yeah, is he still riding? No. Ah, oh. no. that's a shame. That's a shame. 
and and it's a shame that there isn't still events happening in the mountains out there but that said we are super grateful for for la hosting events uh, and we do hope that that you guys will be hosting events this year are you uh, is there anyone allowed to talk about that sort of thing or <laughs> are you would you nobody's we, allowed <laughs> nobody's allowed okay so no we, we can plan we to say do... that there is going to be something happening this year at la if if you guys come we will organize something if if the governments allow us, we'll be there. <laughs> I, I've said, I have said this year, I mean, this year, I think, is going to be the last year that the people that I know from Courchevel will be in Courchevel. Okay. They are due to be moving to a, a, a new venue, and they have bought a small, um, a small farm with lots of okay. buildings and trail, mountain bike trails and stuff within the area. I can't remember where it is off the top of my head. But the, my hope in the is mountain, that, right? uh, not in the Alps, but I think it's okay. I think it's somewhere near Lyon, maybe an hour or hour or so from Lyon okay. area. Um, but yes, plenty of good trails. There's plenty of of downhill there, but just not the full mountains. Um, the <laughs> the full mountain. <laughs> uh, but that said. I, I've, I would hope to be doing a trip um, because for me, L LA is is perfect. My my dream center. I would love to to one day have a have another center, and have it in a woodland. And that is what you guys have there, um, and it's just incredible. The only time I've ever ridden a border cross in a woodland was Lodge de Garde, yeah. um, and. And I loved it so much that I've forever been wanting to recreate that somewhere else. And I'm hoping that by coming to see you guys, that, that you'll Lush have done that. Back in the days, hardcore, hardcore <laughs> ball of cross. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice. fast. It was fast, but it was good. The rocks like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so just to ans answer your, your question about event this summer, uh, because you are not the only one asking... Um, the, the, the French championship uh, will be in Compiègne this year just to prepare um, uh, next year a world championship. Mm -hmm. So they will, they will organize a, uh, the French championship this year. Uh, and for us in LA, we, we plan to do like one or one, two, three small events. Uh, yeah. Not only about mountain boarding, but like events for women, events for uh, nature and recycling and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. And and also, mm -hmm. what was the last? I don't know. We are planning this now and we will let you guys know when when it will be once we know, because we don't know yet. We, we didn't know the, the dates. But um, you you ask for coming to our park, you just let us know when you want to come and we can organize something. If a bunch of international riders want to come, like it's always possible and we can always have uh, good times and parties because all, all of those guys around are not too far, so they will join for sure. <laughs> Excellent. That's all we need to hear. Yeah, that's, that's, what all, we want to that's good enough for me. We'll bring a crew with us. Usually the best time are not the biggest one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, now, listen, I'm looking at the time. I'm thinking we've got 20 minutes here left. Yep. Um, I've got a couple of questions from the, from the viewers um, to go through, uh, one of which is overlapped by the other one, uh, and one I haven't actually seen. So we'll go for the one that will be a surprise for everybody, including us. And that has come in this evening from uh, uh, Monsieur Matt Brind. Uh, let's get this turned up. Who knows what he could say this week? Who knows who he is? <laughs> who, who is this guy? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> is, <laughs> at, do you have you heard, you've heard never of heard, Andy? You've heard, heard of him. Andy Brind, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. He's I very think good. He's 
is something to do with Andy Bryn. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, that's, that's why Bryn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Second cousin or something like that. <laughs> oh, every week, every week. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm not. Here we sorry, go. Man. Evening, boys. How are you all doing? Hope all is good. I got two questions for you today. So, you've got a really creative use of your land and really well spaced out and everything. You, you're maximizing everything there, and it's awesome to see. So, if you could build anything, any kind of feature, what would it be? Talk us through it. And second, you guys seem to be doing, you guys seem to be so successful in setting up a new center and getting kids involved and a really good, strong local like community around mountain boarding over there. So what would your advice be to anybody who wants to set that sort of thing up? Cheers. Keep up the good work. Can't wait to get back over there. Peace. Uh, Good questions, Matt. Thank you. I think I've seen him somewhere sometimes. I don't don't know where, but. (laughs) <laughs> His face remember me something. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and I forgot the first question. Um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have um, uh, a plan, uh, something in our mind for for a long time now, and maybe we'll be build it this year. It's um, you know step up and step down. So step up, curve, and step down, something like okay, this. I, I think a, a whale tail? Yeah, something. Yeah, whale tail, that's it. Uh, so excellent. we want to build it for build this for a long time now and maybe for this year. Oh, good luck with that. Good luck with that. <laughs> and if we, come out, if we come out and you happen to be building at the time that, you, that we're there, we'll get on okay. the shovels for you. Okay. <laughs> so we we'll buy the screw and uh, find the wood. So we we'll wait for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And the second question, the second part of that was, what advice would you guys give to to anyone wanting to set up and and build a local community in the way that you guys have? Just do it. Just do <laughs> no, it. Kidding. No, I think like. The, our approach in France um, has always been associ- associative, which is a bit different from you guys in England. You have like uh, centers uh, that get money to run it. And in France, if we don't have money, when we start the association, we created the park. We didn't have, I don't know, on the bank account, we are like 100 euros. That's it. Mm-hmm. And we, we built everything from getting this from them, this from them, find some dirt. So it's a lot of work, but for not, not many euros, you, you can already have something and make it grow. So I, I don't know, I don't know what to say, just teaching the kids is something we'll pay in the future. For sure, for sure. So, and it also um, when we give listen to the to the kids in the summer, we get money from that. And this is how we we can get the park bigger. Mm-hmm. So, many centers in France closed because they didn't have mountain board school, and and mm-hmm. kids. So I think it's it's the point. If yeah. you create something, you have to, to teach kids and get kids involved in building and stuff. And you also have the parents involved in, uh, in some, I don't know, dirt work or uh, building structure or yeah. stuff like this. Yeah. So um, I think that's, need, that's the point. You need the fresh blood coming through. You need the youngsters yeah. rotating yeah. through the park to keep these parks open. Yeah. Because uh, once, it, once there's a gap, in it, like a, a generation gap, a couple, a couple of years, that's it, gone. Yeah. It just doesn't This is what happened uh, in Arzano. There were like uh, just a gap, like between two generations. And, and yep. when the old guys left, there was no one to fill that space. Those, those young guys, and then they didn't know. <laughs> and I think that's what happened with the majority of parks over here as well, if you're hmm. honest about it. Yeah. In England? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a 
that whole generation. <laughs> I'm already talking like, a, like an old guy, and I'm not the young, the young, the young generation talk. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, Antoine, how how long have you been? You've obviously Riding? are a younger rider. Uh, I think successful. By now, it's been twelve years, something like that. Uh huh. Yeah, so I and you are started, how old now? Uh, 25, almost 26. Oh, okay, sir. So you, you, were, you were young, yeah, yeah, 15, uh, maybe mm, 13. Something like, me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. I don't remember. Uh, and, and how did you come to find mountain? I start by skateboarding and surfing as well. And I keep surfing. And so I was skateboarding and I just heard uh, one of my friends uh, uh, were mountain boarding close to the, the place where I was living. And by one afternoon, I just came by and just Look at the mountain board, and I was like, "Oh, you can you can go higher, you can go faster than skateboarding." And I just yeah. tried, and that was that was it. Perfect. And I, I keep it going. Well, congratulations on, on keeping it going, and congratulations on your successes. I hope we. I hope that, that that you've retained your title, but I hope that that you are pushed. Mm. All the way <laughs> to the end. <laughs> by him. I'm pushed by him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> every year, every summer. <laughs> Perfect. Um, First the, French freestyler. Second. Second. And third. There you go. Look at that. That's it. It's um, a heavyweight set there. <laughs> so we've no, got. No, 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 no. <laughs> we've got 10 minutes left um i have one more question that i can think of uh or two more questions sorry um but they kind of overlap the first one comes uh from james wanklin uh and the second part also come or, or second person involved in it is uh nash and mm. also now matt brind they all want to know what is your favorite pair of glasses and who did you put them on and who is the person who brings the marker pen? <laughs> uh, you want to hear a nice story? Yeah? <laughs> Go for it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I have an answer. Mm, I think this is uh, the jams glasses. You know, something triangle here, <laughs> and then square here. Very cool. Very cool. <coughs> For me, uh, that was at the the world uh, the world championship in Poland, and I'm sorry, this is uh, some temporary glasses I drew, but still. They were so, so nice. You will find it. I will send you the picture. Um, <laughs> that's why it's from, from um, I drew it on a guy organizing, helping David to organize the stuff. And he had a, a fox shirt. And I, I drew him a fox. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it. You will find the picture on our website, temporaryglasses.com in French. So which is lunette ephemere. <laughs> I will send you the link. Please do, please do. And while we're on topic of links, um, I'm, I'm just keep looking at the clock now thinking, right, we've got to get everything in. Uh, while we're on the topic of links, where can the community follow uh, LA and each of you individually? Where can we learn more about the French community? Where can we see you guys riding? Um, and where can we, where can we build, get our stoke from you guys? You mean on social media? On social medias, yeah, yeah or, or, or maybe, you know, maybe any good video media. links that you have that, that I can put up in 
in the, the, the comments or the, the description here that, that help? Help the, the French, French community, community used to have um, a website called mountainboard.fr uh, mm -hmm. made by Mika, which is now at the IMA. And we are waiting for him. So I don't know if he will look that, but uh, he knows we are waiting for him to set it back. <laughs> Perfect. <There you laughs> because we, we missed something for, for the French scene, like something that gazer everyone. Uh -huh. So now it's only social media, Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and we also have a website, but it's a French website, so international writers, they, they won't understand. Well, after this, send, send me all your um, yeah. at links, and I'll, I'll pop them in the, the description to the video, and then hopefully the community can, can see a bit more of you. Um, uh, I, will, I will send you all the French account to follow. Perfect, perfect. Starting um, by the guys around. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Slogs, we got seven minutes left. Right, so. Give us a 10. No, we're not no. going to do a 10 tonight. There's too many people that I want to get answers from. So what we're going to do, we'll do a three set, but each question, everyone around the table can answer the same question because I want to get everyone else involved as well so we can see if, a bit more of everyone. Great. That sound all right? I'm around. Right. <laughs> first question. Reg or goof? Ladies first. Quoi? Regular or goofy? Goofy. 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 Regular. Goofy. Uh, uh, <laughs> the, only, the only one regular. He's not, he's not in the screen. He's not in the screen. We can't see him. It doesn't exist. <laughs> there, there you go. go. Florian. <laughs> Okay, this is quite easy. We can get more than three in here, I reckon. Right, so this is going to be an easy one for all of you, I think. Favourite centre, past or present? Mm. centre préféré. Aujourd'hui ou, ou, ou avant? Uh, Slovenia. Slovenia, good one. Ours. Obviously. Ours. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Um, Poland is very nice. I mean, the place I've been, Poland, and also went to uh, Bugs Boarding and would have loved to go to Art Hill, which to me was one of the best parks, but never had the chance to go before they closed. So. Mm, for me, I think it was uh, Art Hill and uh, for Steel, Wani Park in Belgium. Yeah, very nice. Good course, both of them. And next? Uh, for me, I think it's, yes, Wani Park and Poland. Cool. cool. For me, it's uh, Monistrol and Winterberg. Winterberg. Oh. Winterberg. Only past park. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I think they are not complete. <laughs> <laughs> what was that last answer? Wani Park? Yeah, Wani when, when Park. Pack. Right, this is good, this is, I like this. Right, <laughs> favourite rider. Don't have to be the best rider, but the one that your favourite, he gets you stoked, she gets you stoked, or you just love their flow. I love the barrel of uh, Malton. Ah! Oui, mais c'est pas que je Margot? Hey. <laughs> It'll be all right. Be all right. <laughs> no, of course. Um, I've seen few of uh, your 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 podcast, and then uh, everybody answered Tom Kirkman, mm -hmm. and I would answer him as well. But uh, also love uh, Cody Styles and, and Andy Milenkovic uh, on rails. So just very good. <laughs> Not seeing much now, but uh, on race, just kidding it. I will say Tom K and uh, Andy Milenkovic too. Um. Tom K in my heart. <laughs> Kirkman and Madbury. 
Kirkman and Matt Brind. And Florian? For me, uh, Adam, David, uh, <laughs> because it's uh, the, the one who does the most uh, skate park. Good shout. Yeah, it's a good, good shout. He's got his own special thing going on, hasn't he? Yeah. A mountain board unicorn is our Adam. <laughs> very rare, very rare. Of right, course, um, uh, we, we didn't say Matt Brin because we don't know him, but we hear, <laughs> we heard he, he pushed mountain boarding at uh, next know, next level. Yeah. yeah. There's no we all, we away all agree with that. <laughs> yeah. There's no getting away yeah. from the service that that guy does to our sport. It has to be said. We rip into him every week, but <laughs> yeah. But that's why we riff into it. <laughs> yeah, <that's>, yeah. <laughs> and he bloody knows it. Right. I reckon we can get squeeze another one in at least. Go for it. Freestyle or board across? Mm, freestyle or board across? Well, the moment board across, but I'm working on freestyle <laughs> to improve. I like that. Freestyle. Uh, definitely freestyle. Freestyle, of course. Freestyle on freeride. Yeah. Freestyle too. Heavy on the freestyle. Heavy freestyle. Oh, freestyle. Freestyler, baby. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's go another one. Front side or back side? Mm -hmm. Front side. Back side. Mm, front side. Front side. Back side. Oh, well, that was a split. Yeah, that was. Oh, I, I like this this free flowing. Uh, yeah, it's good, isn't it? I quite like this. Right, <laughs> flip or spin. Well, then with front side and back side, we just go straight. Then. <laughs> 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 but we have to work together. <laughs> yeah, you got to decide is one. <laughs> right, we'll go one more question again. Flip or spin. Uh, flip or spin? Rotation or uh, um, uh, yeah, spin? Right. Uh, spin. <laughs> spin. Uh, the middle, like cork. Like, oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Me too, both at, the both at the same time. Yeah. Spin. <laughs> I like it. Look, there you go. I think that was about a five or six set at least. Yeah, I think we've we done well to fit that in. I think we've done well to try and fit in everything that we can here. I realise that, that you guys are probably <laughs> going to get cut off. Uh, yeah, they are, they are switching the light off. <laughs> <laughs> right. well, quickly they, will, give you, they will push yeah. us out. If we give you the mic now, just give a shout out to everyone you want to give a shout out to before you've got yeah. to go. Big shout out to everyone. Perfect. And to the guy that will get us out. <laughs> <laughs> Guys and girls, it's been brilliant having you on. We hope to see you all again in the in the very near future. Thank you very much, guys. Out. Thank you so much. Bye Thank now. You very much and, and see Take you. Take it easy. See you get out. Summer. Get out. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> see you this summer. Yeah. <laughs> Please. We will live. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Bye. Bye.